Digital borrowers in the country will enjoy a 50% waiver on loans owed, provided that they pay the remaining 50% of the loan within the next six months. So under the credit repay arrangement, the Central Bank of Kenya seeks to clear about 4.2 million Kenyans listed on credit reference bureaus with the cumulative 30 billion shillings non-performing loans owed to mobile digital lenders. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. 4.2 million loan defaulters will be removed from the Credit Reference Bureau blacklist under the CBK's credit repair framework, which seeks to replace the current credit reference system to a credit score formula which rates a borrower based on how efficiently they repay their loans. Under the new arrangement, lenders will enjoy 50% waiver on outstanding non-performing mobile phone loans as at the end of October 2022. The lender will then enter into a repayment plan with the borrowers for a period of six months up to May 31st, 2023 for the balance of the loan. Upon expiry of the six-month period, the credit standing of the borrowers with respect to the loans will depend on their repayment performance. The directive by the CBK means, for example, if an individual acquired a loan of 10,000 shillings to be repaid in 30 days but defaulted under the arrangement, the individual will be required to pay 5,000 shillings over a period of six months to be removed from the CRB database. The new payment model will cover loans with repayment periods of 30 days or less and were offered by institutions through mobile phones. It is anticipated that the arrangement will enable over 4.2 million mobile phone digital borrowers adversely listed on CRBs to repair their credit standing. And negative information. The move comes after the president directed the central bank to abolish the blacklisting of borrowers and instead have a score method where defaulters will get a lower grade instead of being shut out of the financial system. We support CRBs as a mechanism of instilling financial discipline in our financial sector. What we are asking, and I think we are on the same page on this, and I've had a long conversation with the governor, what we are asking is we don't want credit listing to be an all or nothing, in or out engagement. We want credit listing to be a facility that gives everybody a chance to be their best. The total value of non-performing loans by digital lenders is estimated to stand at 30 billion shillings, an equivalent of 0.8% of the gross banking sector loan portfolio at 3.6 trillion shillings as at the end of October 2022. The central bank says that the majority of the defaulters are SMEs who were adversely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, which led to the closure of their businesses, adding that the framework will allow such individuals who were locked out of the financial system to borrow again. According to President William Ruto, the move by the new administration was advised by sentiments from Kenyans during the campaign period on high rates of interest charged on digital loans and when they failed to repay were promptly listed on CRBs. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.